Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own photo, poster, billboard CC using The Sims 4 Studio. I'm also going to show you how to download and install the program. So make sure you check out the description below for timestamps as well as other helpful links. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is download the Sims 4 Studio because that is the program that we need to create our CC. I'm going to leave the link in the description, so just make sure to check that out um, so you don't have to Google it or anything like that. So the link is going to take you to this website and the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to look at the top right where it says welcome guest, please log in or register. So just go ahead and click register because chances are this is the first time that you're on the website and you don't have an account yet. So you're just going to put a valid email, username, password, you're going to verify the password and then you just put your birthday. And you do need a valid email because you get an activation key in your email and that is the key that you're going to need to verify your account. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in because I already have an account, but just make sure you're registering and you should be all good. And then I'm just going to log in. And then after you log in, it's just going to take you to the same website that we were at before. So you are going to see this first um, layout here and it says welcome. And then the second says Sims for Studio. And the first link that you're going to see says downloading and installing Sims for Studio. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to take you to this uh, page and it's going to have three more links and more information. But you're just going to go ahead and click on the first link that says downloading Sims for Studio. So after you clicked on that, again, this has more information and then it's going to give you two links and then you're going to choose the link that belongs to whatever device you're using. So if you're using Mac or if you're using Windows. And so I'm using Windows, so that's what I'm going to click on, but you just click whichever one is the device that you're using. So once I click on that, uh, Windows link is going to take me to this page and this page shows me how the program looks like and then it just gives me a little layout of everything that I can find in the program things that I'm able to use that program for it just has a lot of information make sure you read this um, I'm not going to go over all of this just because it is a lot so I'm just going to go down and I'm going to pay attention to download and it gives me two options you just choose whichever option works best i am able to download whichever option so i'm just going to go ahead and do the first one and then it's going to give me a drive link so i'm just going to go ahead and download so this is going to just give me a message saying that you know what i'm downloading cannot be scanned for any viruses it, this doesn't have a virus don't worry about it this is just a message that google drive puts just to make sure that you're aware that they cannot scan any programs that you're downloading for any viruses so i'm just going to go ahead and click on download anyway and then my download is going to start just going to minimize my page here a little bit and then once um, I see that it downloaded I'm just going to drag it to my desktop so this is how the program looks and then I'm just going to go ahead and double click and then you're going to get all the information that you usually get when you download a program so the license agreement and then you're just going to go ahead and I accept the agreement and click on next then this is the destination of your file um, so change it if you want the destination to change I'm just going to leave it as is click on next it just gives me like if I want to set up a menu folder I honestly just ignore this I just click next and then again just next I'm just going to go ahead and click install so I'm just going to go ahead and click on finish 
and then my Sims 4 is going to go ahead and open. And again, because I already had this program downloaded and installed in my computer, it has my creator name and then all the projects that I've done already. You shouldn't be seeing that because it'll be your first time downloading the program. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put your creator name. This can be literally any name. I just put the same name that I put for um, everything. But just go ahead and put your creator name and then this is what you should be seeing. I'm not going to go in depth on like whichever, like what category is which and what everything does because this video is going to be too long if I do that. But um, this is basically what you would be seeing once you download and install everything correctly. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the next part, which is actually creating the CC. So now that you've downloaded and installed the program and you've put your creator name, you're pretty much good to use the Sims for Studio and create your CC. So for this video, I'm going to show you two examples that I showed in the beginning of the video. I'm going to show you how to create the three magazine picture frame and I'm also going to show you how to create the billboard but you can follow the same steps for literally any type of picture, poster, painting, CC that you want to create. It's going to be the same steps even if you're doing something different than what I'm going to be showing you in this video. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to help you. So we're going to go ahead and create the three magazine picture fr uh, frame first. So the first thing you're going to look is you're going to look at the object category because we are creating an object. And then you're going to make sure that the standalone recolor option is the one that's being selected. And then once that is good to go, you're going to go ahead and click on object. So once you click on object, this window is going to pop up and this is going to show you literally every single item that you have in the game. So the more packs that you have, the more items that are going to show up. And then you can just look at all of this and scroll down. But if you are looking for something specific, you're able to filter things down just to narrow down your options. And you can do this uh, with several different ways. So the first way is to look at the game pack and then select whatever game pack you want to select a object from. So you can literally choose whichever one you have. You can do base game only. Uh, again, the more packs that you have, the more options that you're going to get. I'm just going to go ahead and click on all. You can also do it by content, so game content or custom content. And then you can also search for a specific item. So for example, if I want to do a poster, I can just type in poster and this is going to show you all of my poster options. I can also search, for example, frame. And then it's going to show you all of the items that are categorized by the word frame. And for the example that I'm going to be showing you today, I'm going to go ahead and write paint. And then I'm going to go down until I find the actual frame that I want to use. Okay, there it is. So this is the one that I used. Um, so just go ahead and select that or whichever frame, poster, um, image that you want to use to create your CC. So once you've selected, it's going to be highlighted in blue. And then once you see that, you're going to go ahead and click next. And this is where I'm going to save my package file. So the package file is where the actual information for the item is going to be saved. So when you download a piece of CC, you are downloading a package file and that's what you're going to go ahead and put into your mods folder. But I like to save it on my desktop first just to keep everything in the same place. And then once I'm done with the CC, I like to just transfer that to my mods folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on desktop and then I'm going to save my package file. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and type in the name. So I'm going to do three frame example. So I'm just going to go ahead and save. And then it's going to take a few seconds and then my package file is going to be created. So I'm just going to quickly 
show you here my desktop three frame example is saved so this is going to be the package file that i'm going to transfer to my mods folder once i'm done creating the actual cc so once you save this is going to be what you are going to see and this is going to show you all of the information of this specific item so you're going to see the actual item and you can just like see and like change it move it see all of the sides all of that and then you're going to see four tabs you're going to see catalog texture meshes and tags we are only going to be paying attention to the catalog and the texture tabs for this tutorial so for the catalog this is all of the information that you see when you're in build by mode so it's like the name of the item the description and then the price so i'm just going to go ahead and give it the same name just because it keeps things organized so i did three frame example and then for description you can literally write anything that you want and if you don't want to write anything you can just leave this empty i'm just gonna write description and then you can set a price i'm just gonna do one simoleon now i am going to go ahead and click on the texture tab so you're going to see the actual item and this is going to be what you're going to export and you are going to change in order to create the cc that you want to create now here are all of the swatches so this is going to be when you see a different color in build by mod and then it changes the design so i am just going to go ahead and do two swatches for this example so i'm just going to remove all of them and leave two if you happen to like want to do two swatches and you delete um, all of them by accident and you're left with one just go ahead and click on add swatch and it's going to add a second swatch so i am going to go ahead and look at the texture option and then i'm going to see the export and import options so for this i'm first going to go ahead and export so once I am exporting, it's going to take me back to whatever folder I used last. And I'm also going to go ahead and save this in my desktop. So this now we're extracting, exporting the actual image. So let me just go back here for a second. So what I'm exporting is going to be this image that is showing me right here. Not this one, but this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click export again and then I'm going to give it the same name for organizational purposes so three frame example and then I'm going to go ahead and save awesome so now I have my package file and then I have my actual picture that I just exported so this I'm going to go ahead and open with whatever photo editing program that I have so I have Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, open it with Photoshop. There's also some free Photoshop options online. You can do that. So just pretty much any program that you're able to edit photos, crop photos, um, things like that. Just go ahead and use that. So I'm just going to go ahead, open with Photoshop. And this is what I'm going to see. I'm just going to go ahead and make this big. So what you're going to see is in items that are 3D, you're going to see every single layer of the item. So you're going to see like the back of the frame, the front of the frame, and then the actual image that is in the frame. So you're just going to go ahead and ignore any of like the back, the frame, any of that, that sort of thing. And you're going to focus on the actual image. So I'm going to focus and let me zoom in. I'm going to focus on the three little bird images. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and open again my desktop uh, folder because this is where I saved the images that I want to show you. But just go ahead and open any folder where you save the images that you want to create. 
so i'm going to show you the three different magazines so i'm just going to go ahead and select the first image and then i'm going to go ahead and drag it to my editing um, software so this is going to be the first image that i'm going to use this is just a magazine cover that i made of my sim you can use any image that you want if for example you took a screenshot um, in the game or if you downloaded an image from google whatever image you want you can use so i'm just going to go ahead and drag it to my program and then let me zoom in a bit here i am going to go ahead and just drag it to the first image now you're going to see this sort of like layout of the frame so i'm just going to go ahead and make sure that my image fits within that space okay i don't know why i duplicated it let me delete this okay so i'm just going to go ahead and make sure that my image fits some images are not going to fit perfectly so you can just go ahead and like make them a little bit longer a little bit wider and then this is going to be my first image now it definitely does look a little pixelated just because of the image size but in the game it's going to show up looking nice and normal so don't worry if it's pixelated in the actual editing software so i'm going to go ahead and drag my second image actually give me one second let me bring this down a little bit more okay perfect and you just have to play around with it to make sure that it fits correctly now i would say that because it has this like frame layout already it sort of gives me the outline of where to put the image if you go past it like let's say i'm putting it like this right like i'm on top of the layout that part of the magazine is not going to show up once you have your actual item so just make sure that whatever you want to show up in the picture is actually within that outline because if then it's going to be covered by the actual item like the actual frame okay so i'm going to go ahead and place my second image so let's go ahead and place this one which is super big so i'm just going to go ahead and resize that and then make sure that it fits within the outline and then again you're gonna have to make it a little bit wider here so that it fits within that frame now if i were to for example resize it incorrectly like for example if i were to like do this then what's going to happen is once you have your item the picture is going to show up but it's going to have this missing space within the frame so just again make sure that it fits as close to perfect as you can possibly fit it okay so let me just do that that looks good to me and then i'm going to go ahead and do the third image So I'm just going to go ahead and resize that and make sure that it fits as close to perfect as possible. Just gonna make it a little bit wider. There you go. And then this is what you're going to see. Let me zoom out so you can see. Okay, so now those three images have replaced the original images. Not replaced, but they're on top. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to export and then quick export. So here what you can do is you can actually go ahead and replace this original image because we don't need it. So I can go ahead and save and then it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. And then if I go to my desktop, the image has been replaced so you can see that now my magazine covers are on the actual image so then i'm going to go ahead and open up my sims 4 studio again so you should be seeing this page again 
So now instead of exporting, I'm going to go ahead and import, right? Because I'm importing the new image that I created. So I'm just going to go ahead and click import, go to the folder that I saved the image in, and then I'm going to go ahead and select the image. And this is what you'll see. You'll see your actual image now, and then that's going to be transferred as the actual to see. So now you're able to see how the magazines are going to look like in the game. So now you can definitely just save this and leave it as is, but I'm actually going to create a different swatch, a second swatch. So this is going to allow me to add three more images without having to create a separate item. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the second swatch. And as you can see, the second swatch shows me the original image of the item, right? Because it's a different swatch. So just go ahead and click on the second swatch. And then what you're going to do is you don't need to export anything here because you've already exported the image. You can just go ahead and edit that image that we just edited. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete my images. And then I'm going to drag three more images into it and do the same editing process. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed up this part because you've pretty much already seen me do this. Okay, I'm back. So I've placed my three new images on, again, the original file that I exported. Now I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, instead of replacing the, the image that we already edited, I'm just going to name it something different. So I'm just going to put the same name and then I'm just going to give it a number so that it doesn't replace, but I have two actual files. So again, I have the one that I edited first and now the one that I edited second. So I'm going to go back to my Sins for Studio. And again, I'm on my second swatch. So we already imported my the first swatch. I'm going to go and just make sure that I'm on my second swatch. And then I'm going to repeat the same process. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on import. The file that the folder that I saved the image in is going to come up. So then I'm going to go ahead and select that second swatch, right? The second image that I just did. And then it's there. So once you open up your game and you select this item, you are going to get the different swatches with the different magazine covers um, or whatever image you use. Now, if you want to edit the swatch you can just edit like edit the color of the swatch you can take a look at swatch thumbnail and then you can just change the color by clicking on the actual little box that shows the color and then you can just go ahead and do whatever color you want so i'm just gonna do whatever color so then you can go ahead and import a catalog thumbnail so this is going to be the image that shows up in build by mod to show you sort of like what kind of item it is so i'm just going to go ahead and literally do like maybe this so once you have your item and you have all of the swatches that you want to have, you are pretty much good to go. So the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to save. And then it says your package has been saved. So the information of this item has been saved in the package file that we created at the beginning of the tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And then this is a package file that I'm going to go ahead and add in the game. So I'm not going to add it now. I'm going to go ahead and show you the billboard um, option. And then I'm going to just transfer both files when I'm done. Okay, so the next example that I'm going to show you is the billboard that I also showed you in the beginning of this video. So I'm going to go back to my main page on The Sims 4 Studio. And again, I'm going to make sure that standalone recolor is selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on object. 
So I'm going to go ahead and look up billboard. And then I'm going to get my billboard options. So I'm just selecting that's this one. And then once it's highlighted in blue, I'm going to go ahead and click on next. So I'm going to go ahead and do billboard example as the name and then create my package file and save it in my desktop. So it's going to go ahead and load and then it's going to give me all of the information of you know the item so the reason why i wanted to show you this example is because there's something different in this step and i'm going to show you in a bit so first let's just go ahead and take a look at catalog again the same steps here so i'm just going to go ahead and do billboard example and then give it a description you can leave this empty if you want and then i'm going to go ahead and give it a price i'm just going to do it one simoleon and then go back to texture and then again you're going to see all of the swatches so you're going to see every single swatch that you see in the actual game so i'm just going to go ahead and remove and i'm going to leave three swatches because i'm going to do three swatches for this example now the different step here and why i wanted to show you this example is because here in the texture um, column you see two different texture options and in the last example that i showed you you only saw one texture so depending on how like how many different like layers and items make one entire item you're going to see different textures right so this one has two so it shows me the actual image and then it also shows me the actual frame and structure of the billboard so you just want to make sure that when you get an item and you get different textures here in this little column that you're selecting the texture that shows me the actual image right because that's the image that you're going to be editing so you're not going to export this because it shows me literally nothing it just shows me the frame you're going to make sure that you select the texture that shows me the actual part of the image so once you've done that i'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the first swatch is selected um once you've done that go ahead and export and then i'm going to give it again the same name so billboard example and then i'm going to save and then as you can see this is my billboard image so go ahead and open that image with the whatever editing software you're using in my case it's going to be photoshop so this is going to be super easy just like the first example so i'm going to go ahead and do this image and again i'm going to make sure that the image fits within the frame so as you can see, you can see a little bit of the original image here at the bottom. So I'm just going to drag it a little bit down and make sure that it is perfectly aligned with the actual frame of the billboard. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do export, quick export. And then I'm going to do billboard example. And then I'm just going to replace the original image here that I already saved. So go ahead and replace. And then if I go back, now the image has been replaced. So now I'm going to go ahead and just do the ones for the two other swatches. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag the second image. And I'm just going to drag it um, right above the other one. And then again, I'm going to drag it down so it can fit perfectly. And then I'm going to save it. But now instead of saving and replacing this image, because we still need it to import into the Sins for Studio, I'm just going to give it a different name. So same name and the only change is just the number. So I'm just going to go Billboard Example 1. And then again, I'm going to just show you. Here I have my two images that I'm going to import into the game. So I'm just making sure that I'm not replacing one with the original one. And then I'm just going to do the third example, which is right here. And then again, just make sure that everything fits in perfectly and it's aligned with the frame. And then I'm going to go ahead and export. And then I'm going to do example two. 
And now I have my three images that I'm going to go ahead and import into the program. So open up the scenes for studio again, and then we're going to go ahead and import the first swatch. So I'm going to make sure that I'm in my first swatch here, and then I'm going to import. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the first one. And then this is how the billboard looks. It's again, super, super easy. Uh, then I, if you see here, swatch thumbnail, it gives me like two different swatches. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the other one and just keep one. But this is how it looks. And now let's go ahead and import the second and the third. So I'm just going to go ahead and select number two here. And then I'm going to go back and make sure that the texture that shows the image is selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and import. And then I'm going to select that one. Perfect. Remove that second swatch because I don't need it. And then let's do the third one. So again, making sure that the texture that shows the image is selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and import. And then I'm going to do the third one. Perfect. And now that I've done the name, description, the price, import my textures, everything is good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and import a catalog thumbnail. So I'm just going to go ahead and select, I guess, the first one. And perfect. This is done and good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and save. Your package has been saved. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the three frame example and the billboard example and I'm going to go ahead and just copy or cut I'm just gonna cut and then I'm going to go to my sims 4 folder wherever you like to save your CC so I'm just gonna go to custom content and then or in case you don't know, you just go to a PC, Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, Mods, and you can do it in your Mods folder directly. I just like to sort of keep uh, my custom content and my mods into different folders. So for my case, I do custom content and then I click, I have this folder that says CC that I made and then I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and paste this. So once you've pasted, you're pretty much done. Now we're going to go ahead and open the game and then I'm going to show you how the items look. Okay, so now I'm in the game and I'm just here on this random lot and I'm just going to show you how the item looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a wall so that I can show you the first example. So I'm just going to go ahead and look up the name that we place in the catalog name category. So I did the three frame example and here it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that and then this is the example that I created. So as you can see, this is the item. And then I'm just going to go ahead and place it twice so that I can change the swatch and show you the second swatch that we created and then let's go ahead and look up the billboard so billboard example here it is so then perfect this is the billboard so let's go ahead and place it three times so that we can take a look at all of the swatches so second swatch and the third swatch and this is how you create that type of CC. Again, it's super easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm just going to go ahead and show you some of the other examples that I've done to show you the different types of things that you can create. So I'm just going to go ahead and do select this one. So I have this. I also did this little frame one, which I think it's so freaking adorable. It's so, so cute. Um, let's see. I have this one, this one's a pretty big poster, you can just go ahead and, and resize, but I just think it's just such a fun way to really enhance your gameplay, enhance your storylines. I do a lot of this because the current household that I'm playing with, my sim is a model, so I just love the fact that I get to create actual covers and just like have them in her office and just really again, it enhances gameplay a lot and it just makes your game so much more special but you can create CC for your own you can create CC that other people can download 
it's super easy but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and i will make sure to help you out um and yeah if you like this video give it a like if you want to see more tutorials or more build videos um go ahead and subscribe and i am going to be doing gameplay videos as well which i'm really excited about um like really planning them and working on them but they'll be really fun so i'm super excited about that but i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye